Hi, it's Mary, a traditional Chinese medicine tutor and an acupuncturist in Canada. Post-taking is always the number one mystery in learning and practicing traditional Chinese medicine. There were 24 types of uh, pulses, according to Mai Jin Pulse Classic, around 2,000 years ago. And nowadays, there are 28 or 29 pulses being used, and each of them has its unique indications. However, the difficulty of reading pulse is exaggerated as people are diving into too many details without knowing the big picture, which is the yin-yang nature of the pulse. For example, when you face a person, it is hard to know which ethnicity he or she comes from, but it is easy for you to know this person is a man or woman by birth. Once you know the gender of this person, you already have the most key information about this person. The situation is the same with pulse. You are already in the right direction once you know the pulse yin-yang nature. Punko is located behind the transverse crease on both wrists, inside the radial styloid process where the radial artery pulse is prominent. Punko is divided into three portions, Chun, Guan, and Chi. The prominent bone, which is the radial styloid process, marks the Guan. Between the Guan and the wrist joint is the Chun. On the other side of the Guan is the Chi. The standard length for Chun Ko is about 1.9 Chen. Among them, Chen, is 0.9 chen, chi is 1.0 chen. According to classic on medical problems, from guan to chi is within chi, governed by yin. From guan to thinner is within chun, governed by yang. We know that the nature of yang is associated with strength, upward movement, and shallow and the nature of yin is associated with weakness, downward movement, and deep. Compare the yin-yang nature with the pulse in qi and chun, we can draw the following conclusions in a healthy person. When pulse belongs to yang, so its position should be relatively shallow and can be easily palpated under light pressure of the palpating finger. Chi pulse belongs to yin, so its position should be relatively deep and only can be palpated with a certain pressure of the palpating finger. Based on the yin-yang nature of the pulse, in a healthy person, the chun ko pulse would be like a seesaw with the chun part tilted upward and the chi part tilted downward a bit. The pulse line is not a horizontal line. In traditional Chinese medicine, the way of finding whether a person is sick or not is to compare the person's condition with a healthy person to find out the difference. In other words, if you know what is normal, then anything not normal is abnormal. In terms of the twinkle pulse, for example, if the twin pulse is difficult to locate, is deep or over superficial, or is weak, those manifestations are not in line with the characteristics of yang. Therefore, we know there is an issue. With the same logic, if the qi pulse is big and shallow, or one has to push very deep all the way until the bone to locate the pulse, then this is against the characteristics of yin. Thus, we know there is an issue with the person. Another angle to analyze the pulse yin yang is to compare the chun guan qi with the upper jaw, middle jaw, and the lower jaw. As shown in this chart, the guan part is associated with the diaphragm. We know upper jaw, which is above the diaphragm, belongs to yang. And uh, the lower jaw, which is below the diaphragm, belongs to yin. Thus, 
The twin pulse can detect the conditions of the heart and the lungs, and the qi pulse can detect the conditions of the kidney. The pulse yin yang is the first conclusion we need to find out when taking the pulse. Only after we know the pulse yin yang can we further analyze the secondary level of pulse elements of depth, rate, shape, and strength. Then further, we can analyze other third level pulse elements such as length, width, smooth degree, tense degree, even degree, etc. The combination of those pulse elements makes the 24 or 28 detailed particular pulses. If you feel this video is helpful, please give me a like, subscribe to it, and share it with others. See you in my next video. All the best!